I'm on the block, block with them killers and shot. Just like where I'm at, nobody gon' stop. That boy don't got no ops in his ass and imposter. Came from the block and he stayed with some lost <laughs> Okay, let's get it. My nigga Nizza, we out this bitch. Lift off. What the said? Let's fucking interview this nigga. What the fuck? Let's get it, bro. Yo. What's going on, gang? Already, man. What it is, man. What it is. Love Nizza. Love Nizza. Hold on. I'm about to add a few people to this shit. Say no more. Think this is bro. Shut up. You ain't smoking no runs. Hey, go look on my story right now. This is that my last one. <laughs> look, this some. I got Stay some runs. fucking Billy Kemp and Miss with some runs right now. Jeez, go get them, son. Okay. Fuck you, mean. No cap. Big dopery. Ah, oh, let's get it! Hey, ah, hey, hey, shout out to the gang joining the fucking the chat, guys. man. Grab a shit too. Gotta... Oh, you got the big dumb grabber. Yeah. Grab your fucking brain, bitch. Yeah. Hey, no cap free. Look, man, we about to crank up in this bitch. Ready for it? Yeah, let's crank up. Say less, man. Hey, since it's your first interview, tell tell me something about yourself. Tell me, like, tell me your story real quick. You know what I'm saying? Where you from? Where you hail from? I'm from I'm from multiple places. I'm from first of all, shout out Broward County. I was raised in Broward County. My sound come from Broward County. That's how I rap. That's all from Broward County. All my Broward dogs in here right now. Look, shout out to y'all, bro. So Broward County. Hey, that's on game. I got North Lauderdale, North Lauderdale. That's how we going. And now I'm from New York. I'm from, now that's I'm from Queens, New York. North side of Queens, Murdoch, one hundred seven. Mm, that's what it is, homie. Shit, look. Hmm. So I say, um, can you describe like your neighborhood and anything? Is your neighborhood dangerous? Is it safe? Oh no, nah, you know every neighborhood got they love, they love for me. They got their little shit going on. My my hood, my hood hot. Free the guys, matter of fact, they just blitzed the guys last night. Free the free the guys, real shit. Free hope blow, free all the money world. You know what I'm saying? Free the guys, mm. real shit. But they got caught on a Rico or something like that. Some shit like that. We not gonna speak on it though. You feel me? Nah, don't eat, don't eat Instagram feds, yeah, guys, but I digress. Bro, free my guy, Lee. My, 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 that's my real. Guy, just got locked the other day from Brooklyn. That's the real choke. Free mm. all guys. Real shit. So I say, being that you're from multiple regions, different places, do you feel like people from your respective cities hate you or love you? And does it, does it affect it your creativity? It, yeah. Love and hate go both ways. They, niggas, niggas out of town show more love than they do than the niggas in your town always show love. That's a fact. All the time. That's a fact. But nah, I support mm -hmm. everybody in my town. They don't, the support shouldn't work one way, you feel me? I support everybody. Whether you're from out of town or from my town, you feel me? Yeah. I respect, I respect everybody hustle. Everybody trying to come up. Everybody doing the same shit. That's, that's what it got to be about, man. Niggas be crabs in the barrel, you feel me? Trying to reach to the top. Grab everybody down. Like, that's the worst, you feel me? So I say... Lil Nizza, with a rap name like that, how did you acquire? Was like, what did an OG give you that name? All right, boom. I'm basically so I ain't gonna tell the whole story, but back in the day, I used to have a little radio and shit. My uncle had gave me, and it had Wu Tang in it for me. I used to bump straight Wu Tang and Mob Deep. Ah. So you know how that shit go. I, I bump all music. I don't bump just for me just rap. I bump like old school rap. I bump rock. I bump all that shit. That's why my sound is so different. All that. I, I change my sound every time I hop, I hop in the booth. What is this? Nah, Look, it's real. my producer right here too. I do TGA. He's the reason my my sound is the way it is. For me, real shit. He from Atlanta. Definitely from Atlanta. to the sound. He from Atlanta. He live in New York, so he got that little Atlanta sound. For me, yeah. Man, I would say, what do you believe separates you from the average MC? From the average MC, um, I don't know. I got versatility, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like I could, I could change it up. I could I could really spit I could spit balls while I'm rapping I could spit balls while I'm singing I could do all of that shit feel me I could spit balls while I'm screaming. Ha! <laughs> nah, man, that shit takes a lot of revision. Can you describe your style and what type of music do you make? Like, um, nah, I really can't. I make all types of music. I make people for I make music for the people. Like, like that's how I make my music. If I can't listen to it like myself, I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna make it or I'm not gonna put it out. I'm not gonna feel me. I'm not gonna preview it. Cause I wouldn't listen to it. I wouldn't fuck with it. So why would they? It's only fair, right? You're actually caring about the listener. That's real artistry. Exactly. You feel me? 
That's real talk. I feel like a lot of rappers miss their mark game. with that. You know what I'm saying? Game. Niggas is just my fault, gang. Nah, that's all love, bro. Niggas is just missing their mark. You know what I'm saying? So I see you got on um, a project coming out, Heartbreak Palace. Talk to me about it. What's going on oh, with that? That's coming out in 17 days, hosted by DJ Fat. We going crazy with that. I ain't gonna lie. That shit go. It got a few songs on it. This one, I'm dropping a full song EP of that on SoundCloud. That's only on SoundCloud for me. And then I'm gonna drop the deluxe on yeah. all platforms in a few days after. For me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get right. That shit is different. It's it's really about shit that that I've been going through through the past months. For me, it's not no fake shit. I mean, I can you tell me how many um how many tracks is gonna be on there? On the first one on the on the regular one, it's only four tracks. That's the one I'm gonna drop on SoundCloud. On the deluxe, I might throw like seven, eight on them. Feel me? Nah, say less. Question: If I was an upcoming artist, I mean, being that you you know you got experience, however many years, if I was an upcoming artist, what type of advice could you give me, or would you give me? If you was an upcoming artist, be yourself. Don't don't. Don't change on yourself. Don't don't change who you want to be for anybody else. Real shit. Because once you change, that they it leave a mark on you. You feel me? It leaves the mark that you you this person now. You can't change back to who you really wanted to be. So be yourself. Do anything you wanted to do. Man, that's the best route to take it. What I would say is, I mean, I could tell you have a hustler mentality. You know what I'm saying? A good grind could change your life. I mean, when you first started rapping, did you ever believe that you would take it this far, or did you feel like? You know, being that you somewhat dabbling in the streets, you might not make it this nah, far. To be honest, bro, I do this shit for fun. I, I just I just like music, to be honest. I don't, I don't really do it. Just, I just do this shit for fun. I get crazy with it. I, I'm, I'm, do, I'm, I'm nice with it. I don't even care. I know I'm nice, you feel me? Yeah. That's what you got. You got to have that confidence. Once you have that level of confidence, you got that lion mentality, nigga. Yeah, I'm not doing You're going to get I'm what you're looking for. You know? I'm just chilling, bro. I'm having fun and shit. I'm rapping about all this real shit. Like, everything I rap about is real. Shit not fake, neither. So I'm just having fun. I'm living my life, and I'm rapping about it. Real shit. Now, nah, that's 100, bro. So I'm saying, like, whenever, like, you drop a project or, you know, you're making a song, of course you told me, yeah, it's it's mainly just if you like it, but do you feel like sometimes you got to make songs that are just not something you like? Sometimes you got to step out of your body for the music? I mean, I do. I experiment with shit. That's how I figure out if I like it or not, feel me? So if I don't like it, I'm still like, I might listen to it a few times. I might redo it. I might, but if I don't like it, I might not just put it out. But like to an extent, I don't really put out nothing I don't like. Like I just keep it in the vault or some shit. I keep it, I keep it in the, in the, in the, like, in the folder or some shit. Just, keep it in the vault. Yeah. So I say, when you were coming up, I mean, you know, you lived in multiple regions. Did you have any people that you looked up to in this music shit from your city? Uh, I'm not going to say niggas I looked up to. I, I'm going to say niggas that, like, influenced my sound, though. Like, like, like I said, we yeah. saying, you got all them old school niggas that influenced my shit. That's why I have, like, the, my vocabulary is different when I rap. You feel me? So that's all. Yeah. Like, pretty much all the old school people. So you can count them all in. And then you got, who you got? You got, like, niggas like Famous Dex. Famous Dex gave me like he showed niggas that you could really say anything in the song. Feel me? It just like it really literally. Feel me? <laughs> Famous Dex. You, you know what else? Yeah. Who else? That's a that, that's a combination of like the times. You know what I'm yeah. saying? The trap music and the niggas just having fun. That's what it's supposed to be about. That's hip hop. Famous Dex. I said you know my dog just joined. My dog Nero. We used to bump Famous Dex every day. And we used to be. I used to have a studio yeah. in my house. We used to rap like Famous Dex. No cap. You go over my old track. No cap. <laughs> He told niggas so famous that who else? Man, I ain't gonna lie. It's not too many. I can't mm. think off the top of my head. I, I can't think off the top of my head. I'm gonna let you know though. But if famous Dex is one of them. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, Chief Keef, nope. of course. We we glow gang forever. For real. Chief Keef, of course. That's yeah, the Chief influenced the game heavy. I got a lot of songs heavy. by like influenced like Chief by Chief Keef. A lot of beats. TGA make a lot of like Chief Keef type beats. So he be having me, he be like, nah, bro, you gotta you my Chief Keef, nigga, you gotta go do this. I'll be like, alright. <laughs> but nah, Chief. Nah, I get to with the um the emulations. That's always good, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Just doing you but in a different way. Nothing wrong with that. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Besides yourself though, who do you think is the hottest artist in the game right now? Mm. What game we talking about? We talking about underground or like mainstream? Let's say underground. I don't want to. Nah, I ain't gonna be messing. Let's say, let's say mainstream. Let's say mainstream. Mainstream. I ain't gonna be 
I, 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 mainstream, I ain't gonna lie, NBA got it. Got that shit a lot. No lie. He's the rawest rapper out because he, he talk about everything. Like, he, he like me. Like, I fuck with him. Like, he, he talk about everything that's going on around him or everything for me doing. Feel me? He, he like, he, he one of the realest rappers out. I ain't gonna cap. Can't deny it, though. I, I agree with you. He's, um, he, he's selling records and all that. Like, those are the two realest niggas in the game. Those are the only niggas I really fuck with. Like, I, I really think the realest niggas in the game. Like, they come from the streets. They still industry. You feel me? Fuck, I don't know. No Drake. I don't listen to Drake. I don't listen to Aubrey. I don't listen to none of that. I'm sorry. You, that shit not gangster, nah, right? I gotta yeah. listen to some shit, like some real shit I could feel. I can't feel Drake. I can't go in the hit and, and bump Drake. <laughs> I can't spin a bend and, and feel me? Nah, I, I, I felt that. <laughs> you know, but I mean, look. COVID-19 has really put a damper on artists and, you know what I'm saying, their means of income, like live performances. So I'm saying, overall, you know, music is taking a nosedive. What should fans and supporters be looking forward to with your new releases? Uh, can you repeat that? I said, you know, COVID-19 really put a damper on, you know, how artists make their money online and live, and live performances. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Overall, music is taking a nosedive, you know, like that. Yeah. I was saying, what should fans and supporters be looking forward to with your new releases? Um, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna just do a lot of big shit. We we do a say cheese, we do we might do world star. I'm just gonna go crazy. I ain't gonna lie, I might just go crazy with this release, depending on how how bad the fans want it, how how bad like how crazy they going. Feel me? Now that's a hundred though. You gotta keep the fans like guessing, keep them you know anticipating. I got some, I got some that's real shit. Fans. I got fans who been here. Whoever, I just got a fan page made. He been watching me since like my first song. Like that shit is crazy. I don't, I don't even be knowing that. And that first song I ever dropped, right, that's about you just a million like of no promotion, no no. Or, like, hey, hey, that's that's amazing, bro. What what platform? SoundCloud. Yeah, only on my SoundCloud, I think. I don't even know if I put it on all platforms. If I, I'm waiting till I hit a mill on SoundCloud before I even do that, I might even do a part two. Feel me? What I'm going to say, though, I don't know, this is just advice. Make sure you chase down that producer and fucking make sure y'all on the same oh, page. Yeah. I, I already know he, he from Florida, too. He from South Florida. Um, my dog. Say, say like less. Damien. Slump boy. Mm -hmm. Get to the bag, bro. Real shit. That's what it is. Say no more. I felt that one. So check it out. I say hip hop has been an, always been an open forum, and you've seen very outspoken. What exactly do you want to achieve with your music going forward? Um, I go a lot. I just want I want my music to like make people feel good. Like I want I want people to be like feel good when they listen to my music. Feel me? They have a good day. Feel me? They they put on that little nizzle. I want I don't want I don't really even want nothing really out of it. If I get money out my shit, I already know what I'm doing. With it. I ain't I ain't really on, in the diamonds. I ain't even in the jewelry. Nothing like that. I'm like I'm giving back. I ain't gonna lie. I'm giving back to the community. I'm buying like real estate. I ain't doing nothing crazy. I don't want to do nothing crazy, bro. I'm, I'm living life right now. <laughs> hey, bro, that sounds real wise. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Obviously, you, you somewhat past your time. You feel me? Because a lot of young people, they just like, yo, I'm finna go cop this brand new Audemars. You feel me? Once I get a check. But honestly, you got to make smarter decisions. You feel me? You're on the right path. Just stay positive. You feel me? Keep the enthusiasm, always, my nigga. Always. That's how you got to do it. Got to, bro. Takes a lot of time, though, you feel me? Again, but I already know you've been through the grind. You've been working. You've been just getting through whatever it is, you feel me? Right. And th that's what this shit is about. It's a fucking, it's a journey. It's not a sprint, you feel me? So it's like, yo, definitely, bro. Just keep working at your craft, for 100. That shit is definitely going up. Already, gang. Good looking, good looking. She said she going to hit some shit. I'm going to play some shit for y'all. All right, cool. Let me see this shit. Oh, I got you. You good like great, man. Rico right here. I got, I got hella taste for my dog Rico right here. Hold on. You got to tap it with him. Oh, where? Where Rico from? What, what, what city you from?
No, listen. Yo, check it out. I'm about to say, all right, so I'm back with the questions. <laughs> check it out. I said, bro. So, I mean, being that you, you know, you've been in this game for a while, you've been underground more so, but, you know, you had your taste or whatever. Do you want to actually sign to a major, or do you feel like you want to stay underground and stay low-key? Nah, I'm not, I'm not doing none of that major shit like that. Maybe if it's like a distribution, but... I'm about to just try to do my own shit. I'm about to make build my own label. I've been at my own shit. 4700 is my shit. If you ever see 4700, that's my shit. So it's it's stamp, like feel me. So you you work with um, what's them boys? With the plays. What what with the 1032? Yeah, like them oh, boys. Yeah, like they they look click click. That's family right there. No cap. Straight out of Broward County. That's like real blood road right there. No cap, bro. Cause I I seen um on your tape you got ten thirty two up and I'm like okay yeah, cool you know what I'm saying like yeah what what y'all got really what y'all got in cahoots y'all got something major coming yeah that song is gonna go crazy we going crazy we got a big video for that that shit going last shit looks crazy bro we got something big coming with mm -hmm. that. that's, the, that's why I only put him as the only feature on there because me and him go crazy together every time we got songs in the vault too but that song right there that shit gonna go crazy. And it's the intro to the it's the intro to the tape too. So you feel me? Woo -hoo. All the more it gotta slap. If it don't, then you already All know. Real. But it will. <laughs> it got to slap. Say no more. But according to your track record, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, this shit's definitely finna go. It's not I don't doubt it, you feel me? So I mean like, yo, when it comes to actually being a rapper, do you feel like rapping is dangerous? Or do you feel like being that you have some street experience? It's nothing. The rapping is dangerous, bro, because it get real sometimes. Sometimes you got niggas you beef with, and it feel me. You, it get real, bro. Like that shit. When we rap, we don't really rap about fake shit. We rap about the shit that's really going on. Like I said, feel me. So it's it's shit that's going on, and they listen. The other niggas listen. You feel me? So they they hear they know what's going on, and we know what's going on too, cause we listen. So it get dangerous, bro. Man, like, music get dangerous, bro. Like because of, you you could really get into some shit because of music, bro. But that's how it goes. That's how the game, and it's just, the game never going to change. That's how the game is. It's always going to be like that. The industry, bro, music will just have you on some shadow game shit. It's always something when it comes to making music yeah. or being in the industry. Bro. No matter what, even if you're local, even if you're trying to get mainstream, niggas on the mainstream level will definitely clip your wings or steal your swag. So I definitely feel what you're saying, bro. It's like every day is a battle, you know what I'm saying? Every single day in this rap shit. I go cap. Like, we had... My group in general, like our old group, we had like mainstream like artists copy us multiple times. Like they'll hit us up, they'll chill with us, all that. I'm not gonna speak on names, like the real mainstream niggas though. Niggas being studios, like all, all types of weird shit. That's why I say industry niggas is weird. Like I don't, I don't really want to be in the industry. I want to build my own shit. That's, I completely agree with you. Ownership, I mean, you know everybody on that super black power shit right now, but ownership is real essential. You feel me, bro? Like no cap. Especially being black, you ain't trying to sign to, let's say, three hundred entertainment with no white people and had them telling you how to put your music out. I like the mentality. Like I, don't, I don't want to work for nobody, bro. Like I ain't. I'm like I'm about to be twenty one years old. I made a lot of money. I ain't even had one job. No cap. Like I don't even speak on that a lot. For real, I'm about to be twenty one years old. <laughs> I'm not even laughing at you. I'm just like, hey, get it how you nah, live, for real, bro. Though, but that, yeah. Like I, I really don't like listening to people. I don't like. I like being my own boss, so I get money on my own time and shit. Feel me? That's why I, I like. That's the same thing with the industry. When you when you sign to somebody, you under you sign like you under somebody. You feel me? It's it's a lot of layers to that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you could be signed to a nigga that signed to another nigga, and and like you ain't making no money. You just signed to a nigga that signed to a nigga. That's <laughs> just, just ridiculous. It's not smart at all, man. Just my take on it. You feel me? Definitely want to go for the biggest bag you can grab. 
<laughs> nah, that's a fact though. I'm trying. I'm not gonna lie. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna release trying to sign unless I got. I really got the numbers. That's what they're looking for. They're looking for the numbers, and I ain't gonna sign. And I don't want to sign unless it's like almost like almost like a quarter mil, probably half a mil type shit. I don't want no little shit, even if I do sign. I don't got no other intentions. Man, sign. a lot of major artists like they got finessed out their first deal. All like that's just a common theme. But see. Nowadays, I feel like in the internet age, internet rap, we way more educated, though. Like, you know, I'm not about to sign for 10 bands and give you my catalog, you feel me? Hell no. It ain't never wise to do that. Double right back where you stay if you messed up. That boy, I wanted a pie, so I started in the lines of the rewatch. You gotta remix it. And it's right that I got flipping, gon' fix it. Traveling birds, so I took a no picture.